I do not know what permanent is. They want me gone. Wait for the kicker. They hear me now. I only get bigger. That's word of my nigga. Hermes Link. Ice Blue Mink. Wow! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a install on this wig from Yolissa Hair. This is their 24 inch water wave wig. It's a 13 by 4 HD lace and I'm actually obsessed. If you watch my Miami vlog, you'll see that I had a very similar wig in that vlog. But honestly, I love this one 10 times more. The curls are so soft and pretty. Like, it's not too curly where it's like frizzy and huge but it's perfect. It's not tangling at all. Usually with curly hair, if it's 24 inches, it'll stop like right here because the curl pattern, I guess, makes it appear shorter. But this one is super long and I was really shocked by that. And also the ends are really thick. Usually it starts thinning out around this section and I usually end up cutting it, but this one I didn't have to at all. Like the ends are really like blunt and like thick, so. I'm super happy about that. I feel like the knots could have bleached just a little bit more. So I want to show you guys how I got the wig. They put it in this little bag that says Yolissa. So the wig obviously came packaged in a plastic and everything. They gave me two wig caps. They gave me an edge brush. They also gave me some eyelashes, which are pretty thick, but... Honestly, these ones aren't as bad as like some other ones that I've been getting. So lastly, they gave me an elastic, which I love because it's super thick and I always use these for my installs. Honestly, they did really simple packaging. Um, usually these vendors do the most and add in like anything and everything. So I'm glad I only have like what I actually need in this package. So shout out to you, Alyssa. So keep on watching if you want to see how I installed this wig. And another big thank you to you, Alyssa, for sending me this wig. Okay, hey guys, so I thought I'd come on camera at this stage instead of the bald cap already cut just because I haven't really shown you guys that before. So I already put the glue on. Some people use hairspray to hairspray around your hairline, but I have like a really squiggly hairline, so I have to use a gel to like actually be like intentional with where I want the wig cap to go. So I'm just gonna snip it down the middle. Some people use a, I have a line. But some people use a razor to cut off the excess, but I use scissors. It's just so much easier for me. <laughs> if there's a little bit of lifting, you can um, put some more gel on to really gel the little lifting parts. Um, just don't hairspray because hairspray has alcohol and it'll just make the whole like, cap lift again. <laughs> Okay, so the wig cap is on and it matches pretty well. Not perfect, but I don't really mind. So pretty. So I already plucked and bleached this hair. Um, I had to follow my hairline, so I have to go up a little bit, then down, and then up, and then down again. That's just how my hairline kind of goes. Before I install the wig, I'm just going to cut off my ear part. Okay, so I just cut out the ear section, so now I'm just going to apply the ghost bond on my forehead and we'll get to installing this. Okay, I just blow dried that for 10 seconds and I let it get hot. So I turned my hot comb on a couple minutes ago, so I'm just gonna get started on hot combing this. I kind of over plucked the perfect center and I even kind of over plucked it a little bit here, you can kind of see. I'm also gonna cover that up with makeup later on, but you can't really tell that it's not perfectly in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off the excess lace now. I'm gonna use a razor to do that just because 
I use scissors, it's kind of like a perfect cut and I don't want a perfect cut. That is snipped off. I'm going to bring down my edges and like my sideburns and stuff. Okay, so now instead of doing the same mistake that I always do and just spray the hairspray directly on my lace, I'm gonna spray it on the back of my hand and place it on the lace just so I can directly control where it's going. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna let this sit for five minutes and I'll be right back to do my edges. Alright, I'm back. Let's take a look. I'm honestly really proud of myself right now. But anyways, let's go ahead and cut the edges. Okay, so boom. I don't have mousse. So I'm just gonna use this hairspray from Got Two Beats, the bodifying, bodifying, yeah, bodifying hairspray. Honestly, I prefer this one over the yellow one because it makes your hair so crunchy. This gives a hold, but doesn't make your hair crunchy. Crunchy. Spray a little bit on my edge brush. And hopefully these edges will turn out better than my first install. Okay, so if we're really gonna be honest, this looks really good. Okay guys, so I did my edges and I honestly think I did a really good job. So I'm just gonna wrap up the hair with like a silky scarf this time. So scared. I'm not scared, but I'm excited. Ooh, honestly, I love it. I'm just gonna comb through this hair. Surprisingly, there's not really any knots considering it was in like a super messy clip. I'm gonna hot comb this again. Oh, when you wet the hot comb just to marinate a little bit and get super hot, it really gets the job done. All I have to do is just spray it with some water and then put some curling cream and I'm good to go. Okay, so the hair is wet. I'm going to put some of the Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. It looks like this. attachment put this attachment on it I'm just gonna go ahead and scrunch this up this is just really pretty oh, wow okay so now i can do my final thoughts on yolissa now that i fixed my part so i want to say it's amazing and it's beautiful and it was really easy to customize because like i've said so many times i'm not a pro at customizing my own wigs but i honestly did a really good job the lace melted really nicely this curl pattern i'm really obsessed it's honestly like a really pretty curl like it looks curlier than a water wave it's not kinky and it doesn't seem like it's gonna frizz up over time like i'm gonna wear this hair tonight if it ends up frizzing up really really bad i am gonna let you guys know but with curly hair it does tend to frizz up no matter what but yeah last thoughts beautiful wig super thick through and through you guys super soft if you're looking for a curly wig right now i definitely suggest you Alyssa's hair because um again it's not frizzing up it's a really nice curl pattern but it's not too curly and big so the link to this wig from Alyssa is also going to be in the description box down below along with their instagram and like their socials and their whatsapp number and everything like that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think of this wig in the comments below and i'll see you in my next video